good morning friends welcome to Baku automation lab once again in this online video session we will start selenium 4 new features okay in the last and all previous lesson, lecture of selenium 4 we have already seen uh, how to set up a maven project in eclipse how to run uh, our C maven commands through cmd and how to run your first test okay if you not watch previous videos please guys watch previous uh, all three parts first and then come to this session where we will see Oh, what is exactly change made in Selenium 4 and uh, all Selenium 4 new features? Okay, we will see uh, all these features practically. But first of all, we need to understand what is exactly change made in Selenium 4 theoretically. Okay, we will uh, understand the theoretical concept first, then we'll do all the steps, all the changes in Selenium 4 practically one by one in all these sessions. Okay, so just first of all, let's try to understand what is exactly changes made in Selenium 4, new features. So Selenium 4 uh, components are like Selenium 4 with Selenium WebDriver, Selenium Read, and Selenium ID. Selenium ID uh, is used by the developers to record and playback from functionality there in the, the browser component where we can uh, just simply record and playbacks and create a Selenium script. Selenium Read is used for, if you want to create a grid and run over Selenium script on multiple machines and uh, uh, on multiple servers, then we can use a Selenium grid and we are working with a Selenium web driver on the day-to-day -day routine. Now Selenium 4 is using W3C compliant. Okay, what is mean by W3C compliant? Compliant. So W3C compliant is a W3C standard defined on an open web platform for an application development. Okay, so guys just understand what is W3C compliant. So W3C compliant standard is a standards, okay, defined an open web app platform for application development. Simple, it means that the HTML and CSS code that a website is built with the fully compliant with the standard set by the World Wide Web uh, Constituents. Means it is one of the group, okay? Constituents is one of the group which is defining all this uh, like compliant, W3C compliance, okay? It comes under this standards. Okay, W3G standards. Okay, it's fully defined by the worldwide uh, worldwide web constituents. It's a group. Constituent means it's a group of uh, worldwide web which is defined that standards. And W3C is totally uh, one of the standards. So now Selenium 4 with W3C compliant with under the standards. Simple. Now let's understand what is this exactly means and what is the benefit using w3c uh, compliance so communication between the selenium uh, and browser in previous version of selenium is uh, using json wire protocol okay selenium web driver api requested uh, browser native api okay directly request to the browser native api and uh, then it will be a response uh, to the selenium web driver API. So this communication happened using JSON wire protocol. Okay, this communication. But after uh, launching Selenium 4, communication between Selenium web driver and the browser using Selenium Pro, the software which is following W3C standard protocol can be directly integrated with the Selenium without the compatibility issue. Here is a chance to maybe get a compatibility issue because uh, we are use, sending JSON wire protocol uh, using Selenium web driver, but the browsers are uh, using W3C protocols. Okay, so there is a chance maybe uh, compatibility issues there. Okay, but after uh, launching Selenium 4, Selenium 4 is al also using W3C standard protocols. So it is directly interacting with the any software which is using uh, W3C protocol. So now browser is also using W3C protocol and Selenium is also using W3C protocol. So request and response is directly get to the browser and response will be directly come to the uh, Selenium without any compatibility issue. So that's the major benefits of using W3C compliant, W3C compliant in Selenium 4. Okay, understood? Now let's understand advantage of using W3C protocol. As I have already seen, uh, told you the automated Selenium testing will be run more consistently across browser than the browsers, okay? And Selenium web driver is using the same protocol, okay? Now, with the web driver uh, W3C protocol, automated Selenium testing will be less flaky and more stable. 
because mm -hmm. both the browser and the web are using same protocol so it is more uh, less picky and more stable and the stability in the test is a major reason to shift to the selenium core okay if you are not uh, shifted to a selenium core let's start try to work with selenium core because it's more major reason is that it's very stable and the stability because uh, whatever software you are using is now on w3c protocol so selenium is also w3 protocols and all standard browsers like firefox chrome mozilla uh, safari all uh, standard browsers are using w3c protocols so it will be the communication uh, more uh, like visible as compared to the uh, tvs version like a uh, json wire protocol okay you can directly integrate without any compatibility issue Action uh, API web driver W3C protocol are richer as comparison uh, to the to the one of JSON wire protocol. Okay, as richer because this is a like a, a simple thing that we have a JSON wire protocol which is a different protocol and W3C protocol is a different protocol. So it's not a good idea to use the two different protocol wire communication between two systems. But now we can using W3C protocol, so it's more richer than that. And web driver W3C protocol is faster as compared to the json wire protocol because we directly both both, both um, systems are using same protocol so it obviously is more faster as compared to the json wire protocol so these are the advantages using uh, w3c protocol in selenium now selenium feature uh, selenium for new feature is like that uh, selenium for relative locators okay first feature is that like a selenium for relative locators in previous version of selenium you can find the elements using ID, name, link test, parcel link test, class name, XPath, CSS letter tag. Now, in Selenium port, you can find the element using all these things like ID, name, link test, parcel text, or using uh, all these locators, as well as additionally in Selenium port with the relative locators. Relatives means we can use now above, below, to left off, to right off, uh, to near, all these locators also uh, additionally added in the locator list. Okay, in Selenium port, we will see this uh, all the locators practically because we have already many time we have practically do these steps, but we will do this uh, additional locators practically in Selenium port. Okay, just try to understand theoretical part here. So these are the additional locators in Selenium port. Now in synchronization also we have a little bit change in Selenium port. Like uh, in implicitly weight is a kind of global global weight which means the weight is applicable for the entire driver means hard coding this weight is for a longer time of period will be hampered the execution time okay we will see this practically and i'll explain you guys what is exactly the difference between implicit and explicit weight this is the very important question for interview purpose so i will explain you while working with practical what is exactly the difference between implicit and explicitly weight uh plumed weight okay and uh, thread dot slip which is not related to the selenium but it is a part of java java okay so we will I, I will explain you all the synchronization weights in selenium just try to understand here what is exactly change in implicit weight using selenium port so before selenium port the syntax is like driver dot manage timeout implicit weight 10 seconds and we can provide a time minutes dot seconds so this is the syntax okay for script timeout also we require to specify the seconds here minutes here whatever minutes you want to provide you can use using this timeout dot minute this is the syntax okay page load timeout also 10 uh, timeout you know dot second so this is the syntax before selenium 4 launch so after selenium 4 launch syntax will get changed a little bit like a dot manage timeouts implicitly with duration of second we require to provide here a duration of seconds or duration of minutes whatever you want to provide you can provide it here like a duration of seconds or duration of minutes Okay, so this is the latest script timeout also duration of seconds, page load timeout also duration of seconds we require to provide. So this is the little bit syntax changes in implicitly weight. Now explicit weight, we have explicit weight in Selenium is used to tell the web driver to wait a certain conditions, okay, expected conditions or maximum type of exceeded before the throwing a element not visible exception. It is a, a intelligent kind of weight, but it can be applied only for a specific elements. It's only applied for specific elements. As I have already told you, I'll explain you all this weight practically and the uh, difference between all those uh, weights. Just try to understand theoretical and uh, just try to understand what is exactly syntax change in Selenium 4 in explicitly weight. So before Selenium 4, syntax is like a web driver weight. We can have to create an object of weight here, like and the new web driver weight driver dot we require to provide here seconds and uh, wait dot until expected condition visibility of driver dot find element 
by whatever element you want to find. So it will wait for that uh, certain time of time, whatever you provide with the throwing a element, not visible exception. But syntactically, after the Selenium core, web driver wait will we get some changes like uh, here you also driver uh, as object we need to provide. Like here we have already provided, but here we require to pass a duration of seconds in a Selenium core and wait until expected condition visibility of that element. So simple here is a duration of second is changed um, as, uh, as compared to the previous version. What is clone fit? So clone fit is a Selenium max, the maximum amount of time Selenium web driver to wait a certain condition of web element to become visible. It also defines how frequently web driver will be checked if the conditions happen before throwing the elements not visible exception. So before Selenium 4, syntax is like wait web driver, clone to wait, new clone wait. So how Selenium uh, 4 and uh, how Clean 20 is working in Selenium 4, like uh, if you provide a uh, with timeout here, like uh, 30 seconds, okay, time will be dot seconds and the pulling time if you provide a five seconds here, okay, and dot ignoring no such element exception. So it will check uh, every five time till this uh, time period is over, like 30 seconds time period is over. It means every five minutes it will check element is visible or not. We put no throwing element not visible exception like here if i provide 30 seconds and it here i have uh, pulling time if i provide a five seconds so it means every five seconds it means it's six times it will check uh, check element is present or visible or not before throwing uh, element not visible exception so whatever time you provided here it, and whatever time you provide pulling time you provide here every uh, pulling time it will check uh, the element is visible or not that's how clone to is working in CM for and uh, previous versions also I'll, I'll explain you this practically so you will get a better idea it, uh, just i try to understand what is exactly changing in selenium for uh, with syntax in fluent weight so after selenium 4 the syntax is changed here like a web driver time of in the before selenium 4 we refer to provide a time unit dot seconds here here is so we need to refer to provide a duration of seconds like a duration of seconds 30 and pulling every duration of seconds right Five seconds, every five seconds, or whatever you want to provide, you can provide. Here, okay, it's every iteration, like uh, every five seconds of iteration, we will check uh, element is visible or not before throwing or uh, element not visible exception in Selenium four. So this is how don't wait. We'll get work. We'll see all this stuff, stuff practically, guys. Don't worry. Just try to understand what is syntactically change. So now we will work with web driver management class class also in Selenium four. Because there are major benefits using web driver class like uh, automates automates the management uh, of web driver binaries. Okay, uh, downloads the uh, appropriate driver binary uh, if not already present into the local cache. Okay, it will automatically download and store it into the local cache. Okay, uh, uh, appropriate driver binaries. Okay, down to the latest version of the browser binary unless. You, uh, otherwise specified okay if you not specified any like a uh, version of browser it will uh, automatically download the latest browser version binary and store into the and store into the uh, your local cache okay elements the needs to elements uh, to needs to tour a driver binary locally like uh, we have set up like a wave driver driver is equal to system dot set properties and uh, then we require to provide a wave driver path we require to uh, download that specific wave driver uh, driver from the official website of like a chrome driver firefox driver okay jco driver and all those things so uh, all these steps uh, will be reduced using uh, web driver manager class. Okay, we, we also need, need not mention various version of binary drivers files differently. Web browser version get changed. We require to uh, again download that uh, browser driver and we require to store on the store into the, the local locations and we require to provide the path uh, for that that browser uh, driver and then we are running the Selenium script. But you, using this uh, web driver management class, all these steps are, are get, getting reduced. And we are also working with Selenium 4 using this web driver manager class only. To so set the web driver manager using web driver manager class is like a web driver dot manager chrome driver dot setup. If you are using any latest version of Selenium uh, chrome driver, so we have to set up um, the syntax like this and web driver will be get launched. Okay, chrome driver will be get launched. Uh, in your system using this uh, syntax only. If you are using any specific version of Chrome driver and you want to launch that one, you can just provide a web driver manager Chrome driver browser version 
whatever version you have in your browser, you can just go to the help and check whether which version you are using and dot setup. Okay. So this is how web driver manager will get work. We'll start with the web driver manager in the next session practically. We will also see uh, all the weight changes or all the synchronization changes in practically. Also set the relative check for the relative locals practically and then more to the next changes. Okay. So let's try to learn all these steps practically in the next session. Till time, if I have any query related to this theoretical part, you just comment out me or I'll just give the answer of, um, answer related to all your questions. Okay. If you like this video, please guys uh, like, share and subscribe to your friends so they are also learn the practical uh, things related to the Selenium web driver and all the automation steps. Okay. So let's meet in the next session with practical example of Selenium course, all the concepts. Till time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.